Hello everybody and welcome to tutorial number 8. Uh, sorry for the bad um, sound quality in videos 2 to 7. I was just trying to boost the sound and yeah I did make it louder but it kind of made the sound quality bad so now I'm back to the normal sound quality. So if you if it's really really bad and you really think it's going to affect my views and you think I should change it then just tell me and I'll change it, I'll make new videos and I'll change the sound volume. So now that I got that down we're going to be learning about for loops. So we already learned about the while loop. So basically what as a reminder a while loop goes until the condition is true. So if it keeps on going until the condition is met or until the until the condition is not met once the condition is met it just keeps on looping 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 so if I make int i equals 1 so I say while i is equal to 1 then do this so keep on looping until the value of i changes well now I'm making a for loop and a for loop is also count, called a counted loop and it goes for a certain amount of times as you see for a while loop you don't determine how many times it goes right you just it just keeps on looping until the value changes right you set a way for the value to change in a for loop you set how many times you actually want it to loop right so this is good for if you want to make a program that you only want it to loop like five times then you make a for loop rather than a while loop so the syntax for a for loop is for then you put your variable name and then you put the condition and then you put the counter or how how much is going to increment or decrease by so now we're going to make this will make more sense to you later on so we're going to make a variable called i and let's make i equal to one so we're going to put for i, so that's the variable we're counting with, because it's a counted loop, and you have to put a semicolon. Then you put i, so this is our condition, so it's basically saying while i is less than or equal to 10, keep on looping. And then I'm going to put i++. plus plus. So each time it goes to the loop, so each time it reaches the bottom, and it goes back to the top it adds one to i and then it reaches the bottom and it adds it goes to the top and it adds one to i because i put i plus plus so it just keeps on adding it and then eventually i will be greater than 10 and then it will stop the loop so for this tutorial i'm going to put c out number and i'm going to put i and l and just like a while loop or an if statement if you have one statement then you don't need the braces if you have more than one statement then you need the braces so let's run this program just wait your name for it to compile okay so as you can see it says number one two all the way to ten because I set it to loop only ten times because the counter is already one, then it loops, so it puts number i, so the variable i is equal to one. Then it loops and it adds one to i, so it puts number two, and it keeps on going. And then when it equals eleven, it's like, oh, it's too big, so stop looping, and then it goes to return zero. So that's the basics of a for loop. Now another neat thing you might notice: you know how I initialize the variable up here. I made int i equals 1. Say I put just int i. I can initialize the variable in here so I can put i is equal to 1. And if I run this program, it'll, it'll still come out with the same output because I'm initializing it within the for loop. Also, I do not need to put int i in here. If I want to reduce space or something, I just have to put int i in the for loop. So you initialize it all in the for loop. And you get the same result. 
Now this syntax for a for loop, you probably won't catch on to it the first day because it kind of gets confusing because with the the initializing of your variable, then the condition, then the encounter, you might not memorize it right now, but it's good to have because for loops are pretty good to have in programs. I in in my programs, I mainly in my game programs, I mainly use while loops, but I also use for loops because in some situations, because in some situations, for loops are just better than while loops. So this is the basics on for loops and next tutorial we'll be learning about the do while loop. Hope you liked it and bye.